what's up guys so today we are going to be making some custom designs on um, well I'm doing a dress but this will work for t-shirts onesies whatever type of clothing you've got I'm going to show you my step-by-step -step method on how we are going to take a design and layer it in with HTV okay so um, this is the dress I'm using. I just wanted to show you real quick how I do measurements before I really start to do the design side of things. So what I typically do is I take a look at um, my template, my, my blank, and I measure out how large I want my design to be. Okay, so I like having this clear ruler here so I can kind of kind of guesstimate how um, how large to make it and what I always do is I look like what's my maximum across and what's my maximum down so for example with this dress I don't want to do more than six inches here because that's like that's already pushing it so ideally I want something more like five um, in terms of the height here and probably around four four five max across okay and then I'll get some, give me some good coverage on top of this now I will show you inside a Cricut design space they do have templates built in that you can use as a guide but I find that you know with shirt sizes it all varies depending on the brand um, and like I said it with with this it's a custom dress right so it's it's not going to have that template inside Cricut design space for us to play with so I like to measure ahead of time. I'm gonna write down those two numbers. So it was five across and no larger than five. So five by five is kind of my maximum um, coverage here. I'm gonna make sure I don't cross either of those when I go to make my design, all right? So let's head over and do the design component and we'll come back and uh, put it all together. All right, so let's work on the design component of this. So um, I'm doing Peppa Pig and I'm just putting my daughter's name Olivia on it so it's Olivia Pig <laughs> um, because we are doing matching t-shirts with the family so um, I'm not gonna go through like how to design this because I didn't design this to be honest I bought a file off of Etsy and I am not going to share that link mostly because I was not happy with my purchase um, so uh, the files were a little rough as in there was like stray nodes if you've worked with uh, SOG files you know what I mean um, but basically that means like there's like instead of lines being smooth there was like random corners here and there which means it wouldn't cut out very nice so I had manually um, made adjustments to this in my uh, Adobe Illustrator program to clean it up a bit so yeah I'm not gonna I'm not gonna share that link because I'm I was not very happy with the cut files um, because I did have to do a lot of extra work to clean it up um, but I am going to show you what I'm going to do inside the program in Cricut Design Space here uh, to prepare it for our cut. So I've already done um, most of the work here, but I'm going to just go over kind of like what you're going to be doing here. So when you buy a file off of Etsy and you want to make your own t-shirt or if you're designing your own, um, then I can show you a few steps here. If you want to know, for example, how to create all these separate layers, let me know in the comments down below because that's a very long separate <laughs> video that we can go through. Um, but for this video itself, I'm just going to go through how we're going to prep this file if you're going to buy one off of Etsy or if you have a file already to go. So if you are doing Peppa as well, there is a font called Peppa Pig font. I think it's free for personal use. So you can go ahead and use that if you are doing Peppa. If you're not, you can just follow along um, to understand kind of how we work with the file. Okay. Um, so one of the first things I'm going to do is ungroup everything so we can actually work with the different layers here. And then you're going to notice that all the letters are separate, which is fine. And then I have all of the other cut layers here for all the little separate components. Okay. Now the first thing I'm going to do, because I'm going to forget if I don't do this now, is I'm going to weld all of the letters together. And basically what that means is that instead of having all these separate letters um, that will cut out completely randomly, you can see now that it actually says Olivia Pig in one like one layer. Okay, so it knows that it'll cut that out with that spacing um, and it cuts out as one piece. Now, the next thing I'm going to go through really quickly is there's a color sync tab up here. Okay, so what we want to do next is to make sure that our colors are correct for the layers that we are using. And what I mean by that is, is for example, her legs down here, her tail, her arms and her face, the back 
the back pink face here. Um, that should all be cut on one layer, uh, where, for example, this outline pink layer should all be cut in one layer, and her dress would be cut out in a separate layer that would be the same color as my text up here. So let's take a look to make sure our colors are correct. So we can go to color sync up here and you'll notice it's not, right? So I did not make adjustments to these colors when I was making um, some fixes in my Illustrator program. I only did the fixes. So there are lots of different shades of pink here and that's not what we want because it, what Cricut's gonna do is try to cut this out on like all these different separate sheets and we don't want that, right? So um, we're going to go through and quickly make adjustments. So look at this, looking at this outline here, we've got this outline, this outline, this outline. That's perfect. These are the two eyes. This is her face shape, but let's add her mouth. So I'm just going to drag that over and that's going to change that color. So now that is all the same. And the other thing I'm going to change is her, um, her cheek there. So I'm going to drag that and put that in the top two. So now that is the same color as well. That is perfect. Now the next thing we're going to look at is her arm pieces here. So we've got her arms, her legs, her tail, and we also want her face components. So these two layers should be merged. So I'm going to just drag and drop those. And there's an actually easier way to do this instead of me dragging every single individual piece. If you grab it from the color bar on the side here, you can just drag that up top and it'll move everything over, which will save you some time. Um, and then finally here, we've got her, this is her, this is her, her well, this is part of her nostril. So we're going to drag that and make that, that same color there. And this, I don't know what this is. This looks like stray, uh, layers that we probably don't want to cut. I must've missed that when I was doing my design. So I'm going to delete those two layers because that is not actually part of our design here. Okay. So what do we have? We've got her eyes that are white. We've got all these pieces that are black, her eyes and her shoes. And we've got all these body components that are light pink. And then we've got the outline components in a darker pink. Perfect. So I should only have five different color layers here. Okay. Um, now we're going to go back to layers because right now we've got them, th the colors the way we want them, but we, we haven't told Cricut how to cut them out yet. So what I mean by that is right now it'll cut the legs out separately. It'll cut the arms out separately. It won't cut it out as one cohesive piece. So we're going to go back and, and tell it to cut it out separately, um, to cut it out together. I mean, so we're going to ungroup all of these and here's where we're going to have to manually, um, create our groupings. Okay. So I'm going to look at all the black layers here. We've got one eye. I'm going to hold shift and click on that one, that's two eyes, and we need to grab her feet, which are also black. So we have four components there, and I'm going to attach all of those. So they're not gonna move. I'm gonna grab her two eyes, those are the only two white components, I'm gonna attach those. And now we're gonna go through, these are the, these are the darker pink parts, so those are the nostrils, these are the eyes, this is the mouth, this is her cheek, and we need her face outline, which is down here. I'm going to attach those. And then I'm gonna grab these back pink layers here. So the lighter pink layers. I don't want this. I'm going to attach those and uh, you can attach these two because they are the same color. I'm going to skip that and then just do it separately because in terms of me lining everything up, I can manually line the text. I don't really need it the way I've designed it here, um, but you can uh, weld those together. Sorry, if you can attach those together to make that simpler, I'm just not going to do that. I'm going to do cut them up separately because I, um, I can save some heat transfer vinyl that way. So one quick thing that I just want to show you is the templates function within Cricut Design Space. So if you head over here to where it says templates, you can click on that and you'll notice they have all different types of blanks here that you can look up. So if you're looking for t-shirts, you can do a quick search and they have all different types of t-shirts that you can use as a template. Now, as you see, I'm using a dress. So I took custom measurements for that because they're obviously not going to have a template for my specific dress. Um, but you are welcome to definitely use this. It gives you a good idea for sizing, but I do recommend always taking your own measurements because, you know, depending on the brand of shirt you have, 
uh, it might be different than what Cricut Design Space has measured out for you. So now when we go to make it, you should see all, you should see five, five different cuts. Okay, we've got the white, we've got the black, and as you can see, they're, they're aligned. So this is gonna line up nicely when we cut it out. We've got the face outline, perfect. We've got the body outline, perfect. And then we've got um, her dress and the text, perfect. Okay, now you can cut this out the way it is right now, and you're going to be making five separate cuts on five different mats. Um, or you can do, this is a little bit more advanced, um, you can do one mat, okay? And you're going to um, arrange the pieces in a, in a way on the mat that you're gonna cut out little squares um, for each of those colors and place them on your mat. So let me show you how we're gonna do that, okay? So now that we're happy with that, and we, sh we should always check this, what I've just done, okay? You go to make it, you make sure that everything here is laid out accordingly to how we want it. If you see something out of place, like you've attached feet on her face, like that's not supposed to be the same color, um, then you can go back and change that, okay? So once we're happy with this, we're happy with this now, um, what I'm going to do, I'm gonna go back to color sync, and I'm going to drag everything so that it is one color. She looks a little creepy right now. <laughs> but I'm gonna drag everything so that it is one color, okay? Awesome. Now, we're gonna keep our layers here. This is perfect. We're gonna go back to make it. And now it's gonna arrange it on one mat, okay? But you have to kind of remember. So for example, this, right? This is supposed to be the same color as the dress. So if you didn't attach that together, that's fine. You can do what I'm doing right now. You can arrange it on the mat. And basically what I'm going to do now is arrange all these different pieces. So this is the darker pink. Let's put it in this corner. This is the black layer. Let's put it in this corner. And we've got her eyes are the final piece here. Let's just put that in the middle here, okay? And so what I'm going to do now is cut out different pieces of heat transfer vinyl in a way that, um, for example, this is the light pink, right? And I'm going to cut out five inches by roughly six and a half inches here, okay? Five inches by six and a half inches. And that's going to be my light pink and I'm going to stick that on my on my mat. My white eyes here, remember those are white, I'm going to cut a two by two and I'm going to stick that there. And you can match this on your on your mat, right? Because your mat hall has the same markings. So that you uh, at the six inch mark, you're going to place that two by two square. Um, at the nine inch mark, you're going to place, uh, what is this, like a three by six, three by six, um, and so on and so on, okay? So you should have five different colors here. You can cut them out in squares um, based on how you arrange them here, and you can just line it up, okay? Only do this maybe if you're comfortable with it. Um, it definitely saves some time in terms of, you know, waiting for each mat to unload and loading up a new mat. <laughs> but in terms of cutting the actual vinyl and everything, it's still about the same amount of work. So uh, one more thing we need to do is we need to mirror this because we are working with heat transfer vinyl. Um, so we're gonna mirror that. And then you're gonna remember that when you are cutting this out, you are placing it the shiny side down. And when you go to continue, let's see here. So if you hit everyday iron on, it will remind you again, remember to mirror your image and to put the shiny side down on the mat. Don't forget that, okay? <laughs> um, yeah, anyways, that is pretty much it. Let's cut it out and I'll show you how we're gonna put it together. This is how I laid it out. As you can see, I have done it in Cricut Design Space with this and I've used little guides across to see where to place everything, okay? All right, so let's cut it out and we'll put it together. Okay, so now we have weeded all our designs out. As you can see here, I have them all separate. I'm just gonna put those aside for now. And we're gonna take our piece of clothing again. And what I'm going to do is uh, create some creases here so I can center my design, okay? So the first thing I'm gonna do is fold this in half. 
and if you're using like a cotton or a polyester blend it'll actually just crease nicely so you don't have to do this next step but because my fabric is a little more uh, finicky where it doesn't really want to wrinkle I'm just going to iron this crease a little bit so it'll show up a little bit better there we go so now we've got that center crease there and I'm just going to tuck the back of this underneath my mat awesome so I can see a clear crease there and what I'm going to do is take my largest piece which in this case is this back light pink peppa piece I'm going to fold this design in half and just pinch the top so I know where the center of that is I'm going to line that up with the crease that's on my dress I'm just going to lay that on top now one thing I'm going to do is just quickly lay out my other pieces this is the great thing about HTV is that I can quickly do this just to see what it's going to look like to make sure that I'm not overstretching myself here so yeah that's the longest piece there and that's the shortest piece there Actually, I'm going to move this down just slightly perfect I'm going to remove those pieces again I can actually leave the top name part here I'm going to press that down and I'm just using a piece of parchment paper this is just to protect the design and it's not so important right now because we've got the carrier sheets there but it will be for the next few layers all right, so then all you need to do is add each layer on separate. And now what I like to do at the very end here is I like to just take my parchment sheet after I've layered everything and just do one more pass. And finally, once everything's cooled and we have all our layers here, I like to do what I call the roll test, okay? And basically what I'm doing is I'm taking the fabric and I'm just rolling, rolling the design to see if there's anything lifting, okay? Because you want to make sure everything is, is adhered nice and tight. And if anything starts lifting, you'll know that you should go through that area again. So I'll take this and put it back on and I will go through that area again to make sure that um, we really have that HTV stuck to our fabric. Okay. Awesome. And then one final pass. I'm just going to go through the back here. And that's it guys I've got some wrinkles here that I'm gonna iron out but yeah that's it I think that turned out pretty nice we've got the Olivia pig on there <laughs> it's centered my daughter's gonna love this so much oh my goodness all right I hope you liked the tutorial if you did give it a thumbs up um, if you would like to see how to do that extra design bit then please let me know and I will do another video for you guys all right, I will see you next time. Bye.